I'm super disappointed, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Super disappointed. I mean, look, dead. Look, dead, dead, dead. I had a question for you. Is Corey the manager still here or no? Mark, he go. Hey, na hallelujah, amawi. Shout out to Anthony Taylor for leaving this comment here. Guess what? Your boy hooked up the tiki fountain for you guys. Check it out. There it is. Mr. Tiki. Oh, yeah. You can see it just kind of spouts out. Not really big, which I like. I like the fact that it doesn't splash. That way we lose water. And then it just drains out from the bottom there right back into the pond and the water's just recycled. I figured I'd show you guys what it looks like from afar so you guys can actually see what the fountain tiki looks like. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice, big, warm aloha. And before we get started, why don't you guys do me a favor, hit the pause button and go smash that like button. So check it out. YouTube's analytics are telling me that a lot of you guys, a really high percentage of you guys that watch my videos are not even subscribed. Do me a favor, guys. Why don't you say, hit that subscribe button. Next that subscribe button is a little bell. It's a notification bell. Do me a favor too. Turn on that bell. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And the best part about it is it's free. And then you're part of my Ohana. All right, so check it out, Ohana. I figured we'd come back to a secret spot. This is a spot I came to only one time. I tried coming back to do a little store tour for you guys, and guess what? Yeah, they were pretty much closed for COVID. Well, their aquatic section was. So I figured we'd come back, and when I say it's kind of a secret spot, not too many people know about Pet Club. That's where we're at, in Roseville, California. Uh, I came here a long time ago, and I picked up Cindy Crawford, my Salvini cichlid from this place. I think they have another name. It's like a red belly cichlid, I believe. And I also picked up my Tancho Kohaku here too. Uh, well, it's kind of like my fake version of the Tancho Kohaku. Uh, it was actually a comet goldfish, but that was all white with a red circle on the top, which is really cool. Super unique. There you go, this guy right here. Maybe we get him and throw him in Tiki Falls, huh? And grow him out and see what he turns out to be. If he turns like our little wannabe Tancho Koi, Kohaku. Oh, that's so funny. And uh, it was what, 48 cents, I think? So we went and picked him up. I'll show you guys um, what he looks like. Let me roll some footage from this morning, what I took. Yeah, that's my little broke man's version of the Tancho Kohaku. If you guys have no idea what the Tancho Kohaku, I guess somebody wants to be on the camera, huh? Runs for, it goes for about uh, $2,500, yeah. That's on the low end too. I've seen them as much as $5,000. This place is super cool. It's like your one-stop shop. Got a lot of supplies for cats, dogs, horses. I mean, rats, birds, everything. And then they have an aquatic section, which last time I was here, I was super impressed. The manager, Corey, who runs this place, did a great selection on uh, picking his fish. But not only that though, the place was awesome. So let's go check out the fish. Okay, they have all these lanes blocked off. Okay, let's just follow the entrance. So it's right over here. Hmm, here they are. So this is their little salt water area here. Yeah, these tanks are, geez, you can't even see inside them. Now we got some green spotted puffers here. Peruvian puffers. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, they have a mori eel right down inside this. Yeah, right there. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? That's a pretty fish. Man, the tanks are full of algae though. Oh, I see a metallic half beak way up here at the top. Those are super cool freshwater fish, but uh, I don't know. It's, I thought these were saltwater. Oh, maybe, you know what? This is normally their saltwater selection, but I think these fish here are brackish because of the puffers that they have down here. Got the puffer fish here and the puffers here. This may be brackish. It used to be a salt water because I know these fish here are brackish too as well. The mono, yeah, these are pretty cool. 
So this must be a little brackish section because I just noticed that looks like a goldfish up there. That definitely looks like a goldfish. So, and it looks like some mollies or guppies. And then they got this uh, moray eel. I don't know. It's weird. It's kind of throwing me off, guys. But God, the algae is so bad. Oh, oh no. Check this out. What? These are African cichlids? Oh no, look in the corner. Oh, what's going on here? What are these? Albino convict cichlids? Huh. God, the tanks are in bad shape though. Look at the algae. It's just like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. Vampire pleco? Check out down here. Looks like just a bunch of, uh, I don't see any large plecos in there, it says, but I see a bunch of snails and then, uh, of course, just a bunch of algae. Oh, man. Some more snails. Hmm. This one here, this one here bothers me because African cichlids are super hardy. And so if you got three African cichlids in a tank, and are dead and the tank looks like this it's not a good look i'm just saying uh let's go over here look at look at looks like we have some snails in here cleaning up the glass got some more over here what is this oh gosh look how beautiful this pleco is huh well that's a beauty right there um see somebody here in the back hmm but these, God, look at this. The, oh man, look at this, guys. Look at this. Oh shoot. Look at that, more. I don't see any pea puffers in here. I don't see any large plecos, but I don't even know what those fish are. Those are all dead, up by the intake. Oh man. I mean, what the hell, Pet Club? I was just talking so good about you guys, and then you like, kind of embarrassed me here on my channel? All these fish are dead. I mean, at least have the decency to clean the tanks and uh, get rid of the dead fish. I mean, it's not a good look, you know? Not a good look. Man, it's so disturbing, you know? Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Whew. Look at that. Look at the tanks. Look it over my shoulder. Just full of algae. I don't even know if Corey's here. Now, I don't see Corey, the manager. If he was here, I would definitely say something to him. And it makes sense. If I don't see him and he's not here, maybe he doesn't work here anymore, it all makes sense because Corey would have this place looking like diamonds. I'm telling you right now. So uh, I'm kind of curious if uh, if Corey's still the manager here. I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask somebody, all right? Let's go see if, if they say, listen, listen. If they say Corey is not the manager here, it makes sense. Okay, we're going undercover, all right? We're going undercover. I'm gonna give you the upshot, okay? I had a question for you. Is Corey the manager still here or no? He is the assistant manager. Oh, he is the assistant. Is he here or no? He's not here? He is off today. Oh, he is off. Tomorrow. Okay, cool. I'll see him tomorrow then. Thank you. All right, so if you guys heard, he's actually off today but is here tomorrow i'm gonna come back tomorrow and ask him about the tanks on what's going on because Corey, if you're watching this man unacceptable dude unacceptable right here the aquatic section something needs to be done i mean i bash big box stores because of this problem you know petco PetSmart. So when you got a smaller place like Pet Club, I think I'm just more annoyed because I was just hyping them up on how great they were. And then they dropped this bombshell on me. So, it's all right though. 
we'll get to the bottom of it, that's for sure. I apologize to you guys because I was here trying to look for some real cool exotic fish because this is kind of a secret spot. Sometimes Corey would order some really nice exotic fish, rare exotic fish that a lot of people don't even have in most of the stores. So I really want to give him another shot though. I can't just go out like this, guns blazing on him, right? I can't barely even see him because of the algae on the tanks. Man, I am not, I'm, I'm almost embarrassed, guys. Here's another dirty tank. They used to have exodons in here because I remember the exodons going through that little house there. Shout out to the homie, brother, Evan, IFG. Look at him. These guys are pretty big, man. They're about uh, maybe two and a half, almost three inches. I didn't know they got this big. On video, they look like they're really small, but nice flashing colors, too. They almost have like a a fluorescent yellow in their body sorry about the glare guys i'm trying to get a good angle here oh man let's see what's down in this tank anything okay looks like they have a bicer here i mean he looks like he's in pretty good shape a bunch of snails though just a ton of snails look at that all right my ohana so right off the bat man i wasn't expecting this it wasn't like this i want to say maybe a year ago when I got my Salvini cichlid, Cindy Crawford here. I'm not even sure. This is, uh, this is unacceptable, man. That's all I got to say. I don't know. Green tanks. It doesn't take much, but just get a sponge to it, you know? Presentation. Let's go check out the goldfish. I'm actually kind of scared to see what their goldfish tanks look like. Oh, all right, guys. So here are their goldfish tanks. Uh, completely filthy, but I guess the good sign is there's no dead bodies. That is a great sign. Another tank here. No dead bodies, but tanks are extremely filthy. There's some pretty uh, feeder goldfish in here, I'm telling you. But, you know, algae isn't bad for a tank. It just, aesthetically wise, it doesn't look good on the eyes. You know what I mean? Especially when you're trying to uh, sell fish. Yeah, just the glass. All I need is a good scrubbing. I'm still bothered by the African cichlids, though, you know? Oh, look at this. Oh, okay. I got a little crayfish in there. He's got one claw. Check that out. Huh. You can see all the colors. And then they have some huge pond comet goldfish. Look at those, huh? Those are pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, Ohana. So check it out. I'm in the far back of the store. That way I can take my mask off. Nobody's around. I'm sitting on uh, bags of dog food right now. And uh, I'm super disappointed, guys. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Super disappointed. The, uh, man, this place is, I, it looks nothing like when I first came here. And I want to say maybe it was around eight or nine months ago. I got to look at the date. Uh, but, ah, oh, man, I'm just shocked. I'm lost for words. Maybe, maybe the COVID thing kind of messed things up as far as shipping goes and all that. But that doesn't mean you neglect cleaning the tanks, especially if you're selling fish, presentations, everything. I'm okay with dead fish, it happens. But like, when you got a dirty tank and you got dead fish, <sighs> unacceptable. The combination, it just looks bad for presentation, right? And I don't wanna talk bad about, you know, <sighs> fish stores, cause I don't. I try to keep things positive, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like I said, I'm a little lost for words about, it's kind of the first store I've ever seen this bad where the tanks were just full of algae, and let me run some footage a long time ago on what the tanks look like and then you guys can compare, okay? Let's hit the footage. This is a chocolate red-eye pleco. 
how cool and unique does this fish look? And check it out. It's only $3.99. All right, so, you know, I've been on this Garami kick lately. Check out their Garami selection. Are you kidding me? They have chocolate garamis. You know, they're not a real common garami when you go into LFSs. And not only that though, the chocolate garamis are only $5.99. $5.99. They got little honey garamis too as well. Check out these garamis. Look how beautiful. These are the kissing garamis right here. These white ones, check out the lips. See that? Give me a kiss, baby. Give me a kiss. Here's a gold garami. Look how beautiful that looks. And check out these pearl garamis. Look at them. In the back, you can see those pearl garamis. Those are beautiful. Check out these candy cane tetras. Look at that dorsal fin. They even have one of my favorite corridors. Check these guys out. Check them out, the panda quarry. Yes, I said panda, panda. Panda, 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 panda. I got broads in Atlanta. You see what I mean? It looks different, right? I just left. I did looked about maybe about halfway down and then I um, grabbed my camera and went to the back of the store here. So I'm gonna go back. Let's see uh, the rest of the tanks. And um, I, just looking at it, it looks, it looks a little better, but uh, I'm still disappointed because honestly, I was trying to come here to see if they had a male Salvini cichlid so we can have Cindy Crawford have her Richard gear, you know what I mean? That was the goal, so uh, I don't know. We're gonna go check it out and um, see what uh, the rest of the remaining tanks look like, okay? Let's go. All right, there's some fancy goldfish in here. It's looking a little bit better on these tanks, right? I mean, I haven't seen any fish that really caught my eye. It's just super basic stuff. Ryukin goldfish, there's a red oranda right there. It's a pretty boy. Oh, some corridors there. Albino redfin pleco. Uh, angelfish look all pretty good. Tank looks a lot cleaner, right? You see this tank here? This is what all the tanks look like. These are called banded barbs. You can see the bands in them there. Super hyper fish though. Pretty unique looking though, banded barbs. You know, it's it's almost embarrassing. I, I'm, I'm, I don't even want to do my world famous B-rolls here, you know? It just, I just can't believe it. Oh, we also have a Chinese high fin shark in the back there. All right, we got some golden dojo loaches. Okay, 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 okay. You can see them down over there, that one under the log there, the one in the back. Super cool fish. Great pond fish, by the way, but they get really big. They get as big as a koi. What? Just so you know. Okay. Oh, look how beautiful these are. It's like an orange, yellow flame. Do you know the name of these barbs? Leave it down in the comments, I'm curious. Oh, they got a gold nugget pleco. That's a really nice pleco. $50 too, not bad. For a gold nugget? That's super cheap. We got some mollies, some platies, and some swordfish there. We got some glowfish down here. Danios. Oh, there's some glow tiger barbs, huh? Those are pretty cool. Those are like yellow. Where's that red one at? There's the red one. Oh, they got a bunch of ghost shrimp down here. You see them? That's what they need to do, man. They need to grab a bunch of these ghost shrimp and throw them in all the other tanks with algae. <laughs> all of them all of these tanks oh gosh it looks so so bad. uh leave a comment down below guys tell me what you guys think of pet club
part two. It looks nothing like part one, like I showed you earlier. A matter of fact, down in the description of this video, I'll have a link to the first time I came here, all right? And you'll see a huge difference. Please go check that link out, go check out that video. You seen this video, go check out the other video, okay? I promise you it's different. Then you'll, then you'll see why I'm so disappointed. All right. Other than that, though, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't the outcome that I wanted it to be. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video, right? Much love and aloha.